And one of them would be this idea of something called FOOP. Now, you know what FOMO is, fear of missing out. FOOP is fear of overpaying. Um, somebody else invented the term. I'm not going to claim it. Well, hello again, everybody. Once a month, I run a survey of real estate agents all around New Zealand, asking them their opinions on what they're seeing out there, buyers in terms of first home buyers, uh, investors, a bit about FOMO, where the prices seem to be rising, um, etc. And now and then the media pick up on it and they tend to focus in on one or two of the key indicators there. But there's a whole lot of other stuff sort of underneath there, which allows me maybe to uh, flesh out some of the other stories that people are exchanging when it comes to the housing market. And one of them would be this idea of something called FOOP. Now, you know what FOMO is, fear of missing out. FOOP is fear of overpaying. Um, somebody else invented the term. I'm not going to claim it. But basically, just some concern on the part of buyers that if they buy, maybe prices will fall in the near future. And so they won't feel quite so happy about that situation. Well, I basically ask uh, the real estate agents to tell me what are the biggest concerns out there. And one of the options I give uh, for what they're seeing from buyers is fears of prices falling. And over the past four months, the results have been from four months ago, initially 16% of agents saying, yeah, buyers are concerned about prices falling. The same 16% about uh, two or three months ago. Then that increased to 25% a month ago. And in my most recent survey out in a few days time, you've got 37% of the agents saying, yeah, people are just a bit concerned about prices going down. Personally, I don't think there is a great danger of any substantial decline in prices, but the next six months will be interesting with a wee bit of uh, reshuffling out there. Now, with regard to some of that reshuffling and people's expectations uh, for the future, there's been this grand expectation over the past 12 months that when the international borders eventually one day reopen, we're going to get this big flood of maybe 1 million Kiwis living overseas. Uh, they're going to come back to live uh, in New Zealand. I've always been fairly dubious of that. 650,000 of them live in Australia and well, uh, they're not going to come back here and earn uh, maybe half the wages they're getting across there. I actually um, asked the agents uh, there, are you seeing more offshore inquiries? And so from four months ago, I had a net 7% of the agents saying, no, I'm seeing fewer offshore inquiries. And then about two or three months ago, it was 12% saying that, 31% just about five weeks ago. And the most recent result is a net 35% of the uh, real estate agents um, saying I'm seeing fewer inquiries from overseas. So no real evidence of a great rush of people from overseas looking to uh, flood back to New Zealand. Some people certainly doing some buying, but I do think a lot of Kiwis who have bought in the past 12 months might have slightly overestimated that particular um, uh, factor. One other thing I ask is, are you seeing more investors coming forward to sell? So obviously this is uh, one of the things people have been talking about since March 23 with those uh, significant policy announcements uh, from the government. And back about uh, three or four months ago, a net 2% of the real estate agents were saying, no, nah, I'm not really seeing any increase there. Now over the past three months, that to plus 5%, plus 6%, and now in the most recent survey, a net 12% of agents are saying that they're seeing a few more investors coming forward looking to sell. It's no great wave, it is an increase, and often what they're saying there is that the investors, some of them are looking to sell existing properties outside the Brightline test and buy new built properties, so the incentive that the government's provided there. So lots of changes happening in the residential real estate market um, in New Zealand, but underlying at all, low interest rates, underlying population growth. Next six months, I personally think will be all over the place, but long term, I still think on average, we're going to get prices rising, but something closer to the 4 to 5% area per annum uh, average, maybe in the next 30 years, and not the near 7% per annum we've seen on average for the country since about um, 1992. All the best.